Ronnie Shield, Jamal Charlo trainer. He said that Jamal Charlo willing to fight Canelo Alvarez at 168 pounds or 175 pounds. It don't matter. Now, Canelo might move up to cruiserweight just to avoid the smoke, but we already know what time it is. Canelo Alvarez does not want to hop into the lion's den. I mean, to have a guy like Jamal Charlo insist that I will fight you in Mexico City. Translation, I'm more Mexican than you. And Canelo doesn't respond to that. That tells you everything. That alone tells you everything. They the same age. Canelo Alvarez and Jamal Charlo, they around the same age. So it don't matter where Canelo Alvarez go. He could run, but he can't hide. We could still see you, Canelo. So it's clear as day that Canelo does not want the fight due to Jamal Charlo attributes. What Jamal Charlo bring to the table. That's why Canelo Alvarez doesn't want the fight at this point. It would be a lovely fight. His own fans demanding the fight now. They saying if Canelo Alvarez doesn't fight Jamal Charlo next, then yes, he's officially ducking now. But he been officially ducking for the past five years. To this to day. 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 If you guys were actually waiting on a big victory by Jamal Charlo, then you guys would have demanded the Canelo fight when Jamal Charlo knocked out J-Rock William when J-Rock William was still undefeated. J-Rock William at the time haven't lost a round yet. He was like the next big prospect, the next big contender to be a star in the sport of boxing. And Jamal Charlo could have avoided that fight if he wanted to move and operate like Canelo because he could no longer make the weight at 154. But what did Jamal Charlo do? He stayed at 154 when everybody was claiming he was avoiding J-Rock, even though he was just having an eye surgery, a laser surgery for his eye. And... He fought J-Rock William, and I truly believe that counter uppercut that Jamal Charlo landed on J-Rock, truth be told, that's one of the prettiest counters I've seen in a while now, you know? If you guys wanted to see the fight, you guys would have demanded it then, and I'm talking about the Canelo fans. Remember, the whole arena went silent. Normally, when you see a knockout on that level that's that pretty, Everybody jumping, everybody cheering, including the haters. But Jamal Charlo was a complete silent, like, oh, oh, that's that's why Canelo don't want to hop into the lion's den. That's the moment all the Canelo fans discovered why Canelo want no smoke with Jamal Charlo. And we see it to this day. day, 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 day. Now you see Deviachenko, he fights Gennady Golovkin. And he beat him up from pillow to post after getting dropped, after receiving a bad cut. And he found a way to win. However, he got robbed. Truth be told, Deviachenko beat Gennady Golovkin in a better fashion than Canelo Alvarez. And you guys saw what Jamal Charlo did last week to Deviachenko. Easy work. He stayed in the pocket with him. He went toe to toe. He showed his skill, his will, his heart, his IQ in the ring so on and so forth so at the end of the day or at least the night uh canelo he have to step up to the plate you can't be running for too long i mean you have like i said before chavez senior barrera morales marquez when these guys told canelo to fight charlo in order to be great when oscar de la jolla his own promoter told canelo alvarez in order to be great you got to fight the likes of charlo and andre including hopkins who told him, if you want to be a Hispanic, great, you got to fight the likes of Charlo and Andre. Guess what Canelo did? He got mad at Marquez. He wanted to fight Marquez for telling him, you got to fight Charlo. You want to fight Marquez, but you don't want to fight Charlo? That's why these decaf shook. They scared to look every time Aki is on TV because, like I said, it's always smoke season with Aki, even during quarantine. And they always a no-show because the truth is their kryptonite. So I'm fed up with Canelo talking about Benavidez. He, he a Mexican. He a Aki of mine. He a amigo of mine. Uh, he my people. I'm not trying to find my people. But like I said, he will fight a Chavez Jr. He will fight the likes of Lopez and Angulo. Lopez, a guy who moved up two weight divisions from 140 to 154 in order to fight Canelo. Literally, you're going to fight that guy who's Hispanic, but you ain't going to fight 
Benavides, where the Mexican tradition is always known for the great Mexican wars, the toe-to-toe -to -toe action between Barrera Morales and the list goes on and on. And you're going to stop the tradition all of a sudden just because you got a brother that could fight. You got a brother that could possibly beat you. You got an Aki like Benavides that's willing to fight you and calling you out respectfully. He ain't even disrespecting you. That's why Canelo is losing popularity. That's why guys like Devin, they taking off on the scene. Because you got to remember, Canelo never had a boogeyman stage. Like Devin, for example. Nobody want to fight him today. I challenge you to name any fighter that's willing to fight him today. He got fighters demanding French fries belts. That's a boogeyman stage like Pretty Boy Floyd had. Like Errol Spence had when his mandatory didn't want the smoke. But Canelo don't want the smoke with his mandatory like Jamal Charlo and gave him the strap and requested a French fries title in order to avoid a fight. That's equivalence of a belt you purchase from Walmart in order to keep your pants up. Word to my man Dante. So it's like, if you know better, do better, Canelo Alvarez, is all I'm saying. What do you want to tell the rest of the middleweights once you go ahead and if things go according to plan for you, what do you want to tell the rest of the middleweights out there that are watching right now? Buckle your seatbelt. Buckle your seatbelt. It's lift off. Yeah, everybody that was down me, everybody who didn't think you'll get a turn, you're going to get your chance. You just you just hold tight. I'm running the show. I got the big boat. You know what I'm saying? We driving the boat. So y'all y'all stay locked. You know what I mean? The space shuttle going to take off. You better be on it. If not, then you're going to get skipped over. Look, man, we don't got too much longer to be playing with y'all. I'm 30, 30 and 0, 22 knockouts. September 26th you know on saying? Showtime pay-per-view. You do not want to miss it. Tomorrow, we got your brother, Jermel <laughs> Charlo. Oh, pretty. Hold it. You're not that pretty. I'm a bad man. man. Wait, wait. I still got the world. I still got the world. Yo, I still got the world. I bear witness there's only one God, Allah, and Muhammad is his final messenger. That's why I said, Larry, on the Bungu fight, thanking you. They call me the problem, but you could call me the can man, because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it.